Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. Last time I introduced you to a single board computer called a Banana Pi. This is made by LeeMaker, who recently sent me their brand new Banana Pi camera module and also this 5 inch LCD screen module. So let's get these connected and see what they can do. Right, we'll start by opening up the, uh, the camera module, nice straightforward little, little box here. Uh, a bit of foam on top and therefore under, oh it's exciting isn't it? And there we are, oh there's our uh, Banana Pi camera. Um, it comes with a, you can see a ribbon cable which you'll need to use to connect it to the uh, uh, computer. Be very careful handling these, never touch the actual connections on, on the ends of another set of connections under there. Um, and I'll just put that down over there a second. And then you can see the camera here, which is um, middle of this piece of foam. You can see the one side and then the other side with the lens on. Again, have to handle these very carefully. So what I'll do is I'll put it down over here. Um, beautiful little piece of equipment. You can see there's a bit of covering plastic over the lens, which we'll take off uh, when we need to use this thing. And then on the other side, as we saw previously, there is the uh, connector here, which will connect in uh, the ribbon cable. Right, so what we'll do is we'll uh, take our ribbon cable, we'll very carefully just raise up the uh, cover on the slot. We'll now drop the ribbon cable into place and we'll now drop down. It'll click in place, there we are, look, the, the cover. So that's now very securely fastened to the actual camera. We now need to connect the camera to our uh, Banana Pi, which I have here on the same um, mounting board I bought for it in the previous video, and we have to connect it to the um, connector CON1 just here. So to do that, I need to raise the sides of the connector cover there. This is not an easy thing to show you or to work with. Note I'm using my fingers because I don't want to risk damaging things with an implement. I'm now going to just insert cable in there. Oh, it's gone in quite easily, and that will just go back down into place, it's just a bit of pressure there. And again, we've now got a properly secured cable that isn't gonna go anywhere. So we now have our camera um, nicely attached to our Banana Pi. I just need to remove this little bit of a lens covering tape here. And there we are. And we're now ready, I think, to do a test. Okay, I've now got everything connected and I've booted into the latest version of Raspbian for the Banana Pi. This is one of many different operating systems now available from LeanMaker.org, and I showed you how to set all this up in my last Banana Pi video. The only difference here is that this time I've also installed mPlayer by opening up LX Terminal and typing sudo apt-get install mPlayer. Software to control the Banana Pi camera is still in development, but we can test things out by installing a couple of um, drivers. So I'll open up LX Terminal and I'll type sudo, which stands for super user do, which means do this command as a super user with full control of the hardware. And then I'll type modprobe. And modprobe is a Linux command that actually adds a module by first probing to detect particular hardware. We want to install two modules, OV5640 for the camera. That seems to be okay. And then sudo mod probe again. And this time we want um, sun for i underscore c s i and then a zero on the end, not a zero, oh no, that's a zero. That's good. And then go m player and tv colon forward slash forward slash. If we're lucky, that will send a live stream from our camera to our screen. And there it is, we have a working camera on our um, Banana Pi. Sorry I should look at you more like over there, shouldn't I? I can't quite see where I am. There I'm about, about there, so if I can come forward a bit. Um, the camera clearly works, because you can see me on the screen and um, through this is me on the Banana Pi on the camera. Um, this camera is actually a quite a good quality camera, really. It's a five megapixel camera. It can deliver um, 1080p um, video at a full 30 frames a second, which is pretty good. 
and it's the sort of hardware you'd use if you want to say add a camera to a robot controlled right by your Banana Pi or maybe you want to have your Banana Pi operating a camera remotely and streaming it across the internet. Those are all the sorts of things we could try in future videos but for now I've proved the camera works and yes certainly does and so I'm now going to go on and see if we can have a look at the screen that Beanmaker have also sent me and see how that works. So, now I'm going to open up the uh, LCD screen that Lee Maker ever sent me to have a look at. This is the 5 inch LCD module. Lee Maker actually make three screens for the Banana Pi a 3.5 inch screen with a 320 uh, by a 240 resolution. They make a 7 inch screen with a 1024 by 600 resolution. And then this screen here, which is the uh, 5 inch screen with 800 by 480 resolution. As you can see, like uh, like the camera, it comes with a ribbon cable which will attach it to the uh, Banana Pi, also giving it power as well as a connection to the screen. And if we just get the screen itself out here, normal sort of stuff in its anti-static container. If we just take off the tape, it's quite exciting this, isn't it? You don't often see small screens like this. And if we just very carefully get that out by its edges there. There we are, there's our um, display screen, which is uh, looks quite nice, doesn't it? And on the back, it has the uh, expected um, electronics. And again, there's a connection to connect it via a ribbon cable. So as with the camera, I'll take the ribbon cable and I'll connect everything together. Here we are all connected in, so I'll save a bit of time there. Um, you can see here the ribbon cable is connected from the connector on the uh, back of the screen to the CON2 connector on the Banana Pi, not the CON1 connector we used last time for the camera. And that gives us a screen, hopefully it'll sit something like that all ready to work. Now, to make it work, two things have to happen. First of all, you've got to make sure you've got enough power. So here you may see I've got connected to a different adapter I've used previously on Banana Pi or indeed Raspberry Pis. This is just a standard um, Amazon uh, USB power adapter, but it gives you uh, 2.1 amps. And given we're going to power the screen directly through the uh, uh, Banana Pi, it's good to have the maximum power required. A Banana Pi is rated to actually require a 2 amp power supply, and not many USB connectors do that natively, but this one will. Second thing we need to do is to make sure we've got things um, configured so that the Banana Pi will actually see the screen. And to do that, you need to go to github.com forward slash leanmaker forward slash fex configuration. And here you can find the files needed to configure your LCD screen. You'll find there are three Banana Pi LCD screen files. Here I want the one called Banana Pi 5 LCD bin, fairly obviously for the five inch screen. And if I click through to that at the next screen, I can click on raw to download the file. And I need to take that file and to rename it as script.bin and then to copy it to the SD card containing my Banana Pi operating system, which here is the Banana Pi directory found in the root of the SD card for Raspberry. With that card now inserted back into our Banana Pi, we can then boot things up and hopefully Yes, there we are. We've got some uh, activity on the screen. The little screen is working. Isn't that fantastic? Um, in a second, we'll hopefully get through to the uh, uh, full um, desktop. Little penguins are there proving everything is, is working okay. And there we are. Banana Pi has come up. Uh, we're now running Raspbian on our Banana Pi, but we're running it on this beautiful little screen. That is absolutely fantastic. You can imagine a screen like this being used on a sort of handheld Banana Pi device or a, on a robot maybe to give it a little face or a control screen or something like that. Um, this is absolutely remarkable. What a beautiful piece of equipment that is. Uh, what, what, should we, what have we got? I can actually run this. is a fresh install of the operating system. Not a lot here, but um, well, there's a calculated lock. We can do uh, eight times six and find out that it's probably going to be um, 48. Isn't that amazing? Well, there we are. I think we've proved in this video that some very interesting new peripherals coming out for the Banana Pi offering all sorts of possibilities for exciting builds.
With the release of add-on hardware, the Banana Pi continues to establish itself as a great single board computer. In future videos, I'll introduce you to far more Banana Pi applications and also the brand new Banana Pro. But now that's it for this time, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.